Hello, Chapel family. Thanks for joining us for this Friday video devotion. This will be our last Friday video devotion of the semester. So I'd like to share these words with you from Luke chapter 1, verse 37. They're actually words of the angel Gabriel. For nothing is impossible with God. So, just a day or two away from finals week starting. Maybe some of you already have had final tests. How are you feeling? What comes to mind? What things happen in your life as you prepare for exam week? Maybe you feel the anxiety of, of just all of the things that are before you and the overwhelming feeling of, of just this monumental task that's ahead. Maybe it's just finishing a test on time. Maybe it's preparing for the right material. Maybe it's just the anxiety of test taking in general. Whatever you feel, it's a real it's a real serious thing, isn't it, the exam week? For those of you who are veterans of college and have done it before, as hard as it is, you know that this impossible task, what seems to be an impos impossible task, is survivable. If you're a first-time student, college student this year, you can take comfort in knowing that so many people who have gone before you have survived an exam week as well, and that God will give you strength to do so. And your chapel family is praying for you as well. But I want to take you back to the events that uh, the words of our text come from 2,000 years ago. A young lady faced impossible, an impossible task, what appeared to be an impossible task. She's told by the angel Gabriel that she's going to have a child and that that child is conceived in her by the Holy Spirit. You can understand why Mary wondered, how could it possibly be that she was going to have a child? She had never been with a man. And yet, this amazing news from Gabriel that this child was special. Special because it was given to Mary through the Holy Spirit. And then Gabriel's words, For nothing is impossible with God. Aren't those words amazing? Aren't they comforting? First of all, let's talk about our salvation and the comfort in the fact that nothing is impossible with God. Jesus had to be true God and true man in the same person. And so God made sure that that was possible by conceiving in Mary, her baby, Jesus, by the Holy Spirit. Jesus was born not sinful, but both true God and true man so that he could carry out our salvation. True God, so that he could live in our place a perfect life. True God, so that he could pay for the sins of the whole world. True man, so that he could live under the law. And true man, that he could die in our place. Amazing. Nothing is impossible with God. But you know that's true of your life too, right? And mine as well. Nothing is impossible with God. Nothing we face in this life, no pandemic, no shutdowns, no semester test week, no health concerns, not a single thing is impossible for God to overcome. The same God who saved you, the same God who miraculously provided a virgin birth of the Savior of the world, that God is watching over you and taking care of you right now. And he'll see you through whatever you face, whether it's finals week or anything else in this life, because he's made it possible. He's made it reality that you are his own and an heir of eternal life with him. God bless you this finals week and this Christmas as you celebrate the miracle of Jesus' birth and the joy of your salvation. Thanks for joining us for this devotion. God be with you until we see you next time.